Hi, welcome back to Cat's Kentucky Corner. Today is a full circle moment for me because I have a haul from Walt Disney World and that is one of the first things that actually ever brought me to YouTube as a viewer. I used to love sitting and watching, I'd fall down the rabbit hole watching vloggers down at Disney and seeing what all they bought when they came back from their shopping hauls. And I just, to each his own, I guess, but that's something I really enjoyed. So if it's not your kind of video, that's fine. You don't have to watch, but that's what today's video is all about. I recently did a solo trip, yes, to my friends and family who are looking like, oh my gosh, another Disney trip. What's wrong with you, Katrina? I can't help it, guys. You know, you know. And I, um, I love going down there. When my parents were living, we used to take in so many states at a time during the summer, and I was very blessed to get to see um, the whole United States. My mom didn't make it to Alaska. She passed away before she could ever go there. Dad and I went before I went to Western Kentucky. And seeing everything, one of the places that brings my heart such joy, it's like my childhood, is Disney World. So when I go there, I think of my parents. Um, I can walk around in Frontierland and see my dad sitting there eating a turkey leg or mom getting um, tickled at Mickey Mouse or we're on a small world and she would just be smiling from ear to ear. So I just have a lot of memories um, and I cling to those memories. And one thing I've always kind of had on my bucket list to do was to do the Christmas party. Um, I've seen the Halloween party, but the Christmas one is something I've always wanted to do. So I finally planned it and um, made the decision I was going to do it this year. I did attempt vlogging. Don't ask me when those will ever, if they'll ever get up or when they do get up on my channel. Um, it was a challenge doing that. You know, I watch people vlog and I think, man, they make it look easy. But it, it is challenging to talk to the camera and try to show things through your eyes. And then, anyways, um... So I'm still trying to learn the GoPro 11 that I bought. Um, I have still nothing to edit it on, but I did want to try to get it filmed. Hopefully I did get some great footage. I will say the day I got down there, it was early in the morning and I went to Epcot and then you could enter the Magic Kingdom at four o'clock for the Christmas party. And it was a nasty day, I hate to say. Yes, I was blessed to get to go. Don't get me wrong. Yes, I was blessed to um, be at the most magical place on earth. But it does stink when you pay money and you get heavy, misty rain all day drenching on you. Um, it just kind of puts a damper, no pun intended, on everything. But the party still was neat. Um, unfortunately, the stage show and everything I waited till the end of the night to kind of do the last three things um at the very end because it's all timed out differently and uh the stage show was shortened now whether they shortened it the rest of the night as well I don't know because I wasn't at the front of the park during all that so I didn't get to see that full stage show that they normally do the fireworks kind of looked smoky a whole lot because of the rain and and everything um, the parade was pretty much what I've seen on TV. There was some changes that I recognized because, yeah, I'm that person that knows that stuff. <laughs> but anyways, it was still a good time. Saturday, that Saturday I went to, um, Hollywood Studios and it was a beautiful day and I did all kinds of stuff. And they closed a little early because they had that Jollywood nights that they're doing. I didn't attend that, but that started at 8 o'clock. So I went to Disney Springs, ate, and did a little shopping. But, I'm here today to show you the goodies I got. Um, the first thing I'm going to start off with is a popcorn bucket. And I have to tell a story about popcorn buckets. Maybe you'll find this humorous, especially if uh, you collect them or buy them. I have one from the Halloween party. And um, I was like, well, I've got to get one from the Christmas party. And it's this cute Mickey Mouse, like a toy soldier. It opened up right here in the back and it was filled with popcorn and they always come with a cute little lanyard so you can carry it around in the park with you. I have it actually as one of my decorations near my Disney tree, which I haven't shown you guys yet. Close. And I had the lanyard off of it, but I put it back on just to show it here in this video. But there's kind of a joke because some of my friends know this with uh, my husband. He kind of cringes. <laughs> 
when I buy popcorn buckets. Um, even at the movies, if they do sometimes, like for Marvel movies or whatever, I, I have a habit of wanting to get the popcorn bucket if possible. But anyways, uh, one of our first trips we ever did um, take together at Disney. Now some of you are like, well, why didn't your husband go along? He likes Disney okay, and he has a good time when he goes, but it's just really not his thing like it is my thing. And someone once said, well, do you like going by yourself? That would bother me. And I'm like, no, I love it because I'm on my schedule. I'm a go-getter when it comes to being in the Disney parks. I set my schedule. I know what I want to do that day and get done that day, even though I may have seen it a hundred times, whether it's on YouTube or in real life. I have to do certain things when I'm there and I have to have certain snacks when I'm there. <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? But anyways, back to the popcorn bucket story. We were there at one point many years ago and they had a Dumbo, like the, the ride um, as a popcorn bucket. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so adorable. This was literally the first popcorn bucket I ever bought. And my husband's like, you do not need that. Like, okay, I really want it. Well, he tuckered out early and went back to the hotel. And I didn't care. That's that's why I handle being on my own when I go down there a lot. Um, I was walking around and I'm like, he's not with me. I'm getting that popcorn bucket. So Dumbo came home into the hotel and I had it sitting on the floor. And the next morning he wakes up and he looks and says, where did that come from? I was like, yeah, when the cat's away, the mice will play. I had to get Dumbo. So... Anyways, just a silly fun story I thought I would share about silly popcorn buckets, but Mickey the toy soldier did come home. So here he is. Let me set him down. Now, I usually don't buy sippers or anything. I mean, once in a while I'll get the cups or whatever, but um, if you've seen the Halloween time, they did the Donald Duck in the candy corn. And for Christmas, they did, and I just, I couldn't resist it. Donald in the Christmas tree. And I don't know if it's going to show up on camera because I've got all the lights on and stuff, but he lights up. So it's cute. It makes a cute little decoration. As I said, I had the lanyard popped off of it and it's sitting in there where I had the Disney tree in my old bedroom, but I put it on there just to show you kind of how it looks. So, and if you wonder where the zipper part is, let me see if I can get it open. Ooh. There's the zipper part, but I didn't use it as that. They didn't put it in there because they don't want it to get, most people that are collectors don't want it to get all sticky. So anyways, um, they just gave me my cup of Diet Coke and then I just carried this with it. Let's see. Oh, turn off, Donald. There we go. So that's those things. Now, let me dig in here. I'll get to that in a minute ears. So, um, I wanted the snowman ears to wear at the Christmas party. I go into the gift shop and they said it's sold out park wide. They don't have them anymore, or at least at that point. So I said, okay. So I decided I really, I decided not to get any Christmas ears. Shocker, I know. Um, but when I went to Hollywood Studios, I did have in mind that a pair of ears I really kind of wanted was the Princess Leia ears. I thought they were so cute. They've got the, um, like her buns on the side of her head as the ears. And this is like a pleather bow, kind of white, sort of like the outfit she wears in A New Hope. And I loved them. I thought they were adorable. So I wore it with, um, one of my Star Wars shirts. Um... And since I didn't get Christmas ears, I decided I could buy another pair of ears. I try to limit one or two pairs of ears because I get pricey. And I love the movie Enchanted. And if you're a Disney fan, you know there's hardly ever any um, merchandise for Enchanted. Well, they've been doing this um, Disney 100 Decades merch. Um, and they are... Is this what, what year was Enchanted? I can't even remember, guys. I'm going to have a... A little brain tube. I can't think right now, guys. I apologize. I just came home from work, and I'm, I'm just not there. Anyways, for whatever year Enchanted came out, um, they've been doing different things, like the 20s, 30s, 40s, and so forth. And they'll release a pin, a pair of ears, a lounge fly bag, 
a magic band and a stuffed animal set and they use different characters from the movie the movies that were released during that year but these are the enchanted ears I'm not even taking the tags off but it's kind of the color of Giselle's dress and there's the little um squirrel in the movie and the ribbons kind of it, it's all supposed to look like Giselle's outfit that she wears and then on the side of the headband they have um, the metal 100 Disney 100 on there but I just thought they were really cute and they've been really popular and I was like well I'm gonna I'm gonna take them home with me <laughs> so that's that um, now when I did film on my camera and if it ever gets fixed where I can put it on my channel you will see that when I, I did a little packing video because I always love to see what people pack and the outfits they plan for the parks and Disney bounding. So when I was at Epcot, I did a um, Alice in Wonderland Disney bound. And I went into one of the gift shops and picked up, and if if you know, you know, they have these things called New Emos. And so I picked up the Alice New Emo. And on my backpack, you can take scrunchies or hairbands. And you can fasten it so she was on my backpack as I had I had on a little blue dress actually I'm gonna be uploading a little short soon um, I videoed that character meet um, it was I barely got to meet her because of the rain but they finally brought her out uh, her last uh, time slot and so I did a silly little video so I could put it on my channel but um, anyways I had a blue dress on I put on some little black Crocs and I had a big black bow from Target and uh, little rabbit earrings. So that was my little Alice theme that day. Alice in Wonderland's always been one of my favorites. I love old Disney. Snow White's my favorite Disney princess, in case you're curious. But I do love Cinderella too. So if you saw the Halloween short I made, I was Cinderella at my school at their fall festival. Um, Aristocats is one of my favorites. I love Marie. I love Disney cats. So there's some Disney... Um, statistics for you about myself if you want to know my favorite villain it would be Gaston from Beauty and the Beast and one of the reasons he's my favorite is at one time they had a character meet and greet with him and the guy that was they said they call it being friends with Gaston but he played Gaston and he was fabulous we cracked up we could stand around somebody even liked him so much that they did make a YouTube channel of all his different uh, greets and stuff um, I can't remember what it's called. I used to watch it for to laugh at and pretend I'm there. <laughs> um, they had this, which I wanted for some time, and then it kind of, I thought, disappeared for a bit, but they had it back in stock, I guess. It is a puzzle, and let me get a little closer there. It is all the Disney cats, and then if you flip it over, it's all the Disney dogs. And I just thought it was so cute. But of course, you know the side that I would keep it on is the Disney cat side. So I thought it'd be something fun for me and my hubby to do sometime. And if you flip it over on the back, it shows the Disney dogs as the bigger part. And then the cat's flipped over. So I got that little fun item. I did think of my babies, my fur babies, while I was down there. And I got them this super cute little bowl. It is, I've been meaning to order it on Shop Disney, but I was like, well, I'll just pick it up while I'm down there. It kind of reminds me of the whole head of Marie. And it's got Figaro, Lucifer, Isma as a cat, and then Marie. My husband's like, it's too nice and too cute for the kids to eat out. <laughs> I was like, well, it's not going to just sit around. I bought it for them to have their food in. It'll be fine. So, I have a Mickey and Minnie um, food bowl. I had ordered Minnie feels like many years ago. I don't know. It's been quite a while um, for the cats to eat out of. But And then there's a third bowl that's just a little too small now. So I thought this would be nice for them. And it's I just think it's adorable. And let's see. We'll get the pins here at the end. So if you're not a pin person, I'll leave it at the end. Um, let's see here. Those are just park maps. Oh, I did. I waited to the very end of the party. And I got to meet Jack dressed as um, Sandy, Sandy Claus. Um, Sally wasn't with him. They made some 
reason why she wasn't, but she's supposed to be normally because I've seen other YouTube vloggers film with Jack and Sally. But um, it's really cute. And then they give you this little um, autograph of them. All right, I think that's just part maps. Oh, I know what I was gonna show too, real quick. Okay, I'll show you. Sorry guys, I'm not prepared. Well, I'll show it in a minute. I'm not gonna sit here and fool around and try to find it. They give you an ornament, it's your freebie, for um, coming to the party. And it, it's a really nice ornament. I mean, it's metal and it's a little toy soldier and I'll show it here in a second. And it says Mickey's uh, Very Merry Christmas Party. All right, before pins, I did go crazy on clothes, and I'm telling you, I normally never buy a shirt, really, when I'm at Disney. Maybe one, sometimes, but you know how I'm about Christmas by this point, and this sweatshirt was super popular down there, and I'm like, oh, that's the Ed sweatshirt, and it says <clears throat> Walt Disney World on the sleeve. It has Mickey and the tree, and it says the most magical time of year which I couldn't agree more. So I got that. I wasn't gonna get two Christmas t-shirts. I really wasn't. This one, I really love that they're just doing kind of a lot of random characters this uh, Christmas collection. I mean, you have Alice and Cheshire and Dumbo and Bambi and the Genie and Peter Pan. It's, it's kind of random, but I like it. Then they've got the basic, um, what is it? They call it the Sensational Six or something. They're on there and Tinkerbell's on there and Simba. I don't know. I just really, I like it. I'm not a, usually a huge fan of that much paint and stuff on a t-shirt. But I'm like, it's the only time they're going to have it. And I really like it. And it says Walt Disney World on the sleeve. So last minute, I decided to grab it. So there's that. <coughs> I honestly was not crazy about the Christmas shirt and the, I didn't even get it. I love pins, but the pins for the Christmas party just did not stand. I think there's only two and it didn't stand out to me whatsoever. They used to do, in my opinion, what I used to see um, on the pin, Disney pins blog or whatever. They used to do really, really cute um, Christmas pins for the party. But um, I think the open edition pins were cuter than the Christmas party pins. If some of my family or anybody's watches that doesn't get this stuff, they're probably like, Katrina, you're talking a foreign language to me. And yes, I know I am, probably. But I told myself, you know, most likely the only time I'll ever go to the party. And I probably need to get the shirt to remember it by. And it has the year. So here it is. It's like, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's just okay. But... It's okay. <laughs> I got it. And I'll still wear it, of course. But I I wasn't crazy about it. But that didn't stop me, did it? I told the last, I'm going to buy it. I'll think about it. And if I don't want it tomorrow morning, I'll return it. But you see, I returned it, right? <laughs> and I'd seen this next shirt on some other people's hauls. And so forth and I like Tinkerbell a lot I think she's adorable so they were running low in a lot of stores and of course you know I'm like well it's very popular then I must have it must mustn't I <laughs> so I picked up this cute pink t-shirt with the castle and Tinkerbell again I went a little clothes crazy normally not what I do okay um, when I went to Disney Springs, I did go into the Vera Bradley store there because I love seeing all the collaborations that, um, they've done with Disney and seeing everything that they still have. This was not on my buy list in my head, but, you know, I love Disney cats and I love Figaro and I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see. Big Rose all over it with um, balls of yarn and little hidden Mickeys. I can't tell what else is on there. Some little flowers, I think. 
So after Christmas is over, I think I'm going to switch out lanyards for, for work and um, use this. And it's got a make, nice metal Mickey. And I'm going to wear it. The lanyard I have right now is like this rubber pencil. And kids just want to mess with it left and right. So, But who knows? They may want to look at Mickey Mouse, right? But as I said, I didn't plan on buying it. It was a spontaneous purchase, but I'm not upset about it. Let's see here. Oh, here's the ornament. Let me show this real quick. I don't need to put it on my Disney tree. It is, as I said, let me take it out of the plastic. This video is already 20 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't mean to yap this long. I had to tell my stories, though, didn't I? And I like this. It's got the little year forever on there. Can you see it? There we go. And then... That's how it looks. So it's pretty cute. Okay. Last but not least, I bought a few pins. They have done um, some new open edition pins on the Disney Princesses. So I have some of Snow White, but this one's a little different. She's carrying a basket. So I'm going to put her on my pin board because I told you she is my favorite. Then. I have Cinderella in her rag clothes, but I needed her in her blue dress, and I thought it was cute. kind of has some shimmer to it, too, which I think is really pretty. There we go. Sorry if I'm squinting. I'm trying to see if it's showing up in the camera. Okay. Then, speaking of Enchanted earlier, they made a little Giselle pin. Let's see. Let me take my face out. There we go. Do it like the professionals I watch on YouTube who does things. Don't look at my nails. They're horribly chipped. I need to repaint. Um, I picked this pin up. It won't go on my pin board. I watch some vloggers, and they take their Stony Clover, um, if you know Stony Clover, you know, the little, um, oh my gosh, I'm not thinking, um, fanny packs. Lordy. I got one from the Target collection when Target and Stony Clover did a collab and it's pink and some people I've seen have bought like the princess crowns that match the stony clovers and put it on the strap so I thought I would get and I like Aurora's crown it and put it on the strap of my pink um target stony clover fanny so that's that and as I said they had some really cute um Christmas open edition pins so I got Mickey Mouse in Santa Claus outfit, and I got Minnie Mouse in a little candy cane outfit, and Alice is a little funny looking with her, where they painted her eyes, but I still loved it, and it came with the Cheshire Cat, so there she is with him. She's holding a present. And then last but not least, um, I did, this is really good for me. I mean, pen-wise, <laughs> I controlled myself. But um, limited edition pens, I looked at them, and I usually get one or two, but um, it's the anniversary of Robin Hood. And I really, as I said, I love old Disney movies. Robin Hood, I thought this was so cute because it's got, like, all the characters. Oh, a lot of the characters, I should say. It's got Maid Marian and Prince John and Robin Hood. I can't tell if Sir Hiss is in there or not. And Little John. So I got that one. I couldn't help myself. And I think that does it, guys. So yay. If if you watch this whole thing, put a little castle emoji down in the um, comment section. As I said, um, I love these kind of videos. Um, I sometimes randomly just bring them up and oh or especially if it's vloggers I'm used to watching and if you ever look on my page of all the people I watch or, or you're looking for good vloggers from um, the Disney World area you can see some of the people I follow I, I love seeing what's new in the parks and what they get but um, I really like what I picked up this time um, I thank you if you watch this if you enjoy this kind of videos or you love Disney uh, give it a thumbs up, I hope, and don't forget to subscribe. 
hit the notification bell for when I do upload videos. And I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. So, you know what I say. Until we meet again, happy tales to you.